Oh, awesome. So what'd you think of Japan, Aaron? I don't know, it was great. Was it... was it better than your other trips? Uh... Acid? LSD? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, nothing can compare. Yeah, it's true. I didn't see shit the way I thought I would when I was on Japan. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I had a good time. It was I always good. do. It's just... what's fuck? It's fucking J Japan, dude. It's, Hold on, I want to get up on top of this. It's very strange. Here's here's a little trivia for you. I had a I weird learned. time. Go ahead. Here's a little trivia that I learned. Say it to my face and ears. Uh, so in Japan they call it Nihon, right? They they call it nice. <laughs> Good to see you've lost none of your form. They call it Nihon. They call Japan itself Nihon. Yes. Okay. So. I, that got me thinking, why the fuck do we call it Japan, and why the fuck are they okay with that? If, well, the, if they call it Nihon. Every country has its own names for all the other countries. In France, the United States is Les Etats Unis. What, really? Yeah, that's how you say the United States. What does that mean? It probably means United States in French, though. That's exactly what I just fucking said. <laughs> well, no, I mean like the actual words put together. Oh, like Germany is Alemania. You know, like... Okay, so what does that mean, and why is it there? How should I goddamn know that? Alright, well, here's the thing. Japan... I will body slam you if you get saucy with me. <laughs> like, the world's slam. slowest body slam. <laughs> the information I was gonna lay upon your fucking thick skull. <laughs> yeah, all these flavors, and you chose to be salty. The thing that I wanted to tell you mm -hmm. was, uh... Japan. Yeah. They call it Nihon. Right. In the Japanese language. You said this. So why the fuck... Are they okay with calling it Japan? Aaron, how many times can you say the same fucking thing? And I'll be like, uh, I in different countries called different sh I mean, shut up! <laughs> shut up once for, for fucking in your life. So... <laughs> damn. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, right? See? I guess I'll just not go on with that sentence. Friendship over. But anyway. Uh-huh. Japan... Alright, friendship back. So, as you know, the Japanese language is made up of a bunch of silly-looking characters. Yes. They're called kanji. Yes. But they come from Chinese. Marco Polo came back from China with the- the characters for Japan, which- what? which is pronounced in the Chinese, the original Chinese, Chipengu. Oh. And that's where Japan comes from. So you knew the answer to your own question, and yet you posed it twice to me? Well, I had the question... And then got snip-snappy with me when I did... <laughs> I'm not talking. Know the trivia? I swear to God, dude. I will fucking karate chop you in the head. I wasn't posing it to you as a question, I was... I was just saying I had that question while I was there. I'm gonna fucking... And I looked up the answer. In fact, I prefaced the statement saying that I looked up the answer. I'm gonna wait until you sleep tonight. And then let my flaccid dick and balls dangle over your face in a classic Roman soldier helmet. <laughs> hey, at least my nose will be protected from the war time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I want it. He looked like a like a like a tropical fruit flavored starburst. Oh yeah, like he's made out of taffy. Oh taffy. Alright. Some laffy taffy. <laughs> Oh, God. You can't help but not laugh when you eat yeah. laughing dad. Oh, I just did like a spin. Yeah, it was awesome. So in Japan, yep, it says it says shine get, which is why the shine is like all the way over there. Oh, what does shine get mean? <laughs> it's just funny. It's it's just like English. It's like uh, shine get. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have an English shirt that said accidenta offside. <laughs> what? what? I know, I know, but I wore it proudly. Accidenta offside. Yeah, it was like supposed to be a football reference, but it was a buffalo and a football. I was like, this doesn't make any more sense <laughs> with visuals than yeah, without. Exactly. <laughs> the fuck was I saying before that? Too. Oh, oh, right, right. Okay, so this happens all the time. Well, it used to happen all the time, and now it's it doesn't happen so much because mm -hmm. I changed my schedule. But like, I used to wake up. I have a like a Japanese tutor at, yes. at come at three. Right. Um, and I used to wake up really late, so I'd wake up like. 30 minutes beforehand and then like get something to eat and then start my lesson and whenever I eat in the morning I have to poop like shortly after that's a that's a gift <laughs> I, is it yeah I sometimes I'll go like four days without pooping wow yeah 
And I am a poopaholic. I've seen I've seen gastroenterologists, and they're like, nope. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, it's okay. Pooping's it's one of my favorite things, like all time. I've learned to really enjoy it too. I guess I, if it, they're, if they're sparingly, as you say. It used to be a boring nuisance to me when I was younger, and now I'm like, I sure do like just being by myself and making things. <laughs> 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 it's like a craft project. <laughs> I did that. No respect to everybody. <laughs> you just get up and look in the bowl like, yep. Wow! I'm Jolly. awesome! <laughs> oh, I was saying, um, so my tutor comes over at three. Oh, right. And um, I'll eat food and then like minutes before she's supposed to show up, I just have to poop. Oh, yeah, and she's quite a pretty girl, too. Well, that's that's irrelevant. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it's it's not irrelevant in the sense that, like, having to poop is always more embarrassing if there's <laughs> someone attractive involved in some way. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I was going with that. <laughs> there's, like, a fucking, like, ugly slab coming over. Ah, like, <laughs> oh, dude, you stay out there! Yeah, hold on! I'm gonna be pooping for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> you just remain ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'll just be like on the john, like, okay, I gotta, I gotta hurry this up. I gotta hurry this up. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like 3:59, and I'm like, oh, what if she comes early? <laughs> <laughs> like sweating profusely. <laughs> And then I have like the like the wave two turd that's like oh, that's it's just terrible. taking its time. <laughs> like the first one came out like ten minutes ago, and it's, oh, God. I can't get up because I can feel it. Yeah, and Susie answers the door and lets her in, and she's just sitting there. Yes. And you're like, I'll be on the minute. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Huge milk. Thank God. Thank you. It's like we squeezed a cow dry. That is Taksan no Gyunyu. I love- what does that mean? <laughs> Many milk. <laughs> <laughs> Soon you will have to do poo. Or what, what's the other thing oh, you can uh, say? Oh, uh, unchi o motte <laughs> It's like I have a poo. I have a poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You're gonna have the weirdest conversations when you get to Japan. <laughs> I'm just gonna show up people like, blah, 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 and I'll just be like, I have to poo. <laughs> I, I have a poo. I have a poo. Well, that uh, apparently that's how you're supposed to say it. Like, really? Yeah. They're a strange people. Don't I love them. <laughs> They're a strange people. Uh, I, I like them. Uh, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. I have many poos for them. Wow, that is a large rat. Well, you, um... They have words that, like, came from English, but then, like, those are their words now. Oh, like, if, I see. Like, like, they have, like, miruku, like... Miracle? No, uh, milk. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> so, like, they have, like, miruku tea. Uh-huh. Like, milk tea. Um, but it's miruku tea. Like, it's not milk tea. Like, uh, if you say milk tea, they'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, get out of here. So you gotta say miruku tea. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Um... And you said it was, like, super beautiful and clean. Oh, yeah, everybody's so respectful there. They, they, they clean everything. Like, there's- nothing was fucking dirty. Like, even the- even the, um... The what's the who's it? The, uh... Nice. The- the, like, the train tracks? Yeah. Were really fucking clean. Oh, it's awesome. It's like, uh, the broken windows theory. You ever heard of that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if there's a broken window in town, then it'll cause more people to break windows. Yeah. It's, I mean, I've heard a lot of things from other... Like, we stayed with some friends who, like, live there, so, like, heard a lot of other, like, shitty stuff, too, so... Uh, but such how, as? How, like, it's hard to live. Like, it's, it's, like, very stressful for, like, you know, Japanese kids to grow up there because, like, there's a lot expected of them. Oh, and I see. Like and also just because of, like, the overstimulus, you know? Like, oh, yeah. The, in Tokyo, you said it looked like a theme park. Yeah, there's just all, a ton of stuff to do and see, like, all the time. That was probably my favorite part about Japan in general, which I guess is true of, like, big cities like New York and stuff, too. You walk around L.A. city, and you have to, like, 
you see a place like a restaurant, and you have to walk by it mm-hmm. to get past that restaurant, right? Yeah. But in Japan, like, there's there's just like a stack of of <laughs> of, of whatever establishments, right? All the way up to like the eighth floor. So like you just walk past one tiny little sliver, and it's like, oh, that's twenty eight fucking things. <laughs> that's and crazy. then you and then you take two more steps, and you're like, oh, there's another group of weird things. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I hope I get there someday. We will. Yeah. You and I. Yeah. And everyone else. Game Grumps in Japan. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. We'll make a special about it. That'd be so awesome. Yeah. And we should play like a really shitty game. That is in no way related to Japan. The thing is, like, I get sick for like two days, uh-huh. and then I'm over it. But because I have horrible sinuses, right, I get like the grossiness for like another two weeks. You should see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Yeah, well, you know what? You should see my dick specialist. Well, maybe I will. Okay. Maybe He's very good. Ma- I don't know why I looked at your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that? It's just like instinctive. <laughs> no, because I wanted to see if the hole in uh, your pajama pants was still there. Oh, I yeah. Like, I can see your dick specialist No, right the, now. the worst part about it, though, is that I wear pajamas around the house, right? Yeah. Because it's like, it's my time. fucking house. Yeah. Um, and, like, when my Japanese tutor comes over, like, I very rarely put on real pants. Right. But, like, I keep forgetting that there's, like, holes in the crotch. Right. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> she, she's, uh, very sweet and, like, very nice. Yeah. And she's, she's a just straight, what girl. the hell is happening right now? He just sent me, he went back to the, the house. He got lost. There's Ooh. anything to avoid not talking about Carl Sagan. Yeah. And wait. There Carl was. <laughs> there's too many <laughs> negatives in that sentence and I got lost. I hate that. I hate that. I actually hate that. What's that? Fucking. Okay. Triple negatives? I know every so often I talk about Japanese language like I know what I'm talking about. I don't, but I just learned this new thing that's really annoying. Go on. That like, if you if you want to say that you have to do something, mm-hmm. you have to say that you... Don't have to not do don't that? Don't not have to. Oh. <laughs> because Whose idea was that? The default is don't have to. Because all based on Latin? Right. Like homo erectus, which is... Something I will never truly be mature enough to deal with. <laughs> homo erectus? Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember when my science teacher was like, yes, and then came Homo erectus, and I was like, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> and he was like, go to the principal's office. Yes, immediately. I'm just gonna preemptively send you to the timeout room. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Nobody needs to know Latin, bro. I'm learning Japanese right now, it's hard enough. Oh yeah, are you still learning it? Yeah, so... There's a tiny little arc to that. Do I, it. uh... So I had a tutor, it wasn't working out, I had, um, I started using Rosetta Stone, mm-hmm. and I felt like it wasn't, like, I felt like it wasn't engaging enough. Right. So I was like, okay, what do, like, linguists think of Rosetta Stone? And then it was like, yeah, they fucking hate it! And I was like, really? Oh, okay, so I've been wasting my time. And I was like, what do linguists like? And they were like, they like Pimsleur. And I was like, okay, so I'll try Pimsleur. Uh-huh. And Pimsleur has been amazing. Really? Yeah, supposedly, if you go through their entire coursework, um, you're just fluent by the end. Wow. And it's it's super engaging, too. It's like... Like you actually want to learn it? Well, it's just that, like... With Rosetta Stone, you, you can you can guess a lot of the time, and, like... Uh... It's just... It, it, it doesn't, like, ask a lot of your intelligence. Mm-hmm. Um, but Pimsleur is constantly like, What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? And you're like, uh... And you, and you have to use it all the time. Wow, cool. Yeah. Very cool. I'd love to do it. How long have you been doing that for? Uh... Like a little under a month. Wow, and you already feel a difference? Yes, I do. Whoa! I might die. Oh, no, man. you lucky bastard. Sweet! <laughs> That's yeah, fucking awesome, Absolutely. Brad. Um, it's like a four-month program, and then supposedly by the end you... you what?! I could learn a language in four months? Yeah, if you do it every day. I'll do it. Um, yeah, I was thinking about it too. Cause like, when I started getting really into Japanese, I was like, maybe I should... Learn another language too. Mm-hmm. So that would be cool. Then I could go somewhere else and be like, hey, I, I speak the language. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll I, see if I can even do the first one. Yeah, I want to do it for Pig Latin. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Pimsler for Pig Latin. Yeah, Imsler Pay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. A bows. A bows. A bows. Fighting those bows. That's my bows. With these dogs. Oh, man. I haven't thought of Soul Travel Blog. 
I gotta, I gotta get in touch with that guy. I think about him almost every day. Nice we're... job. Woohoo! See ya. Yeah. Fuck off. We're going to the Nihon again, and I really want to meet that guy. Oh yeah, you're going to Japan again. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. You love that place. I fucking. Ah uh, no no. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> don't, even, don't even fucking mess oh, with my heart, dude. Oh naughty naughty. All right. Great job. Proud Woo! of you, Aaron. Grand Star. Good way to end this session. Welcome to the Grand Star. Because it would be a pun if he had a gear in his head and also he was like clearly oh, really into music stuff. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But he didn't. just is a gearhead, and then you made that connection in your head. <sighs> they had such an amazing chance to just fucking like go for it completely, and they blew it. Yeah. Fucking blew it. Well, it's a Japanese game. They don't know. Gearheadu? You've never fucking. <laughs> You never heard them say hi. Oh, <laughs> you never heard the the, the classic Japanese fridge phrase Giro Japanese fridge. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Japanese band P Lander Z? P Lander Z. Do you know who I'm talking about? They wear these crazy costumes. They used to show up at like anime conventions, I think. Really? Hold on, I'm gonna look them the up. Fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> P Lander Z. What? I pick up my phone to look up P Lander Z, and I get faced with. <laughs> <laughs> if you're stupid and scared to die, try religion. And fuck it, try Arby's too. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. This is easy peasy. Easy breezy. Ooh, uh, you're easy breezy and I'm Japanesey. That's nice. That is an actual lyric. Is it really? From a Japanese pop star who tried to make an album in America. It failed horribly. What was the song again? Say it again? It's called Easy Breezy, and the lyric is, You're Easy Breezy, and I'm Japanesey. Oh my god. What, what was the name of the person? Utada Hikaru. Utada Hikaru. Oh, is she that one that you said was an enormous pop star? Yes. Like, and- she, she was like number one pop star in Japan. Yeah, and it was like, can't miss popularity, and then she tried to do something here, and it was like, it missed. Yeah. That's well, it's, it's because it was fucking weird. Like, it, I didn't even like it, and I'm a Itari Hikaru fan. It's it's not like, oh, the J-pop sound didn't translate. It was just like the music was weird. Oh, oh, it was it was like a different album completely. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought it was just an English translation of. Oh no, it was written for America. Oh. I think uh, I think like two songs got released in Japan. Well, the whole album got released in Japan in English, but she made like singles. Was it big in Japan? <sighs> Eh, probably. <laughs> they like anything. <laughs> that just sounds like fucking loop on the third. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Tank. Oh, like yeah, tank yeah. From, from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, loop on the third is fucking... When I was in Japan last, I heard that non-stop because I guess they just released a new loop on the third pachinko machine. Mm-hmm. So it was just like fucking everywhere. It was just da 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 da, and I was uh, like, "Oh man, I really like that song, but it is yeah, it's getting, getting a little old, getting fucking serious." Oh, I finally watched Pie Hell, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That poor guy. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny. They fucking rock him with pies. Oh my, dude. I'm so glad you saw that. Every single throw is like. Whap! <laughs> Bam! It's so fucking funny. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Yeah. That's the shit I want to do, man. I want to do a fucking... I want to do a Japanese variety show. Set it up, bro. I I'm... I'll, I'll, I'll be a part of that for sure. You're cool with getting pied? Not... And smacked in the ass? Not my... It's not my favorite, but, like, I'll do it. Yeah? Doesn't a dude come in and make out with him at some point? Yeah. Against his will? Well, I mean, it's, it's Japan. It's just, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? It's that's not an answer. I, yeah, it's fucking weird sometimes. Okay. They they have a whole bit where they go into an MRI. So like a lot of their games are like they can't laugh. Right. So one of the games is. Was this it? Is this the door? No, this is the hallway. Okay, 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 okay. So it's right here into the left. Um. So one of the. No, not to the left. It's straight. No, it's it's to the left. Are you super sure? I came from straight. Oh, see that? Hey, um, a lot of the games they can't laugh, so uh, when they do laugh, they get smacked on the ass. <laughs> so, sometimes, right? Um, That's a shark egg. Fucking blotchy shark egg. Uh, one of the games they had to go inside of like an MRI machine mm -hmm. and it, like slowly raises them, and there's like 
this really weird woman, like her face is like right in front of them when they, <laughs> when they get wheeled in and they're like, oh, and then it like raises up and then, he, and then she kisses them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous, and they can't laugh yeah, during they any of that. Can't laugh or they fail. Nobody fucking passed that. Of one. course not. Of course, <laughs> it's just not. like the moment they see it, they're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and then when it starts raising, they're like, "No, no, no!" <laughs> Is she attractive? No. Oh, outstanding. This must be a portrait of Prince Valka. There's something written on the frame. Please get me out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Help, I'm trapped in a painting. <laughs> <laughs> Even after I'm gone, I will watch this store forever to protect my treasure from thieves. Wow, what a shitty... L Why I'm did sure, you want to ask that? I'm sure someone correct. I don't know, because it's the only bit of Japanese that I know. Oh, oh. Well, apart from like... You should just go you know, around and talk to random people in Japan like that. Arigato <laughs> gozaimasu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and Japan is the best place. Are you... Oh, oh, dude, shit. Uh, you does and anyone... me. Kindred spirits, dude. <laughs> I've been to Japan four times now. Oh. I can't wait to go back. Does anyone know this? Hell Weed yep. hand. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you buy? What would be your ultimate toy? Uh... Oh, man, that's a good question. I would buy a really nice house in Japan. Right. I think... Yeah, I guess so. I I, th I thought we were gonna avoid like ho houses and travel, because like that's what it would always be. Oh okay. Um, if we're avoiding that, then then, man, that's tough now. Yeah, it's just like a crazy ass thing. Like no, I I would buy like the world's best arcade. Oh yeah. I would just like deck oh, it the yes. fuck out. You know, it it wouldn't make it probably. I mean, I'd do my best to make it make a profit or something, mm -hmm. but like. It probably wouldn't, because arcades don't make money. Hey, Aaron. You know what I saw when I was on the plane from from the Nihon? What? I watched Shin Godzilla. Really? Yeah. Oh, the new one. Yeah. Was it good? I loved it. Yeah. I fucking loved it, dude. Awesome. Um. Oh shit! I need a lighter. Oh, I'm poisoned. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Um, a lot of people. Uh, Did not love it. <laughs> well, a lot of people liked it, but like it was like too political, which I honestly like. The original Godzilla movie was like a statement on like nuclear warfare. And oh shit. yeah, definitely. Um, which is cool. Uh, and but this one was also sort of, but it was like different. Mm -hmm. It was a statement more on like um. Like the Japanese government and how it like controls or how it handles a disaster. Wow. Um, because it's more about like sort of the tsunami and like the Fukushima. Uh, explosion. Yeah, because you can see that Godzilla, like his skin is all fucked up from like radiation and stuff. Yeah, well, there's more to it than that. Oh. Um, but I don't want to give it away. Okay. Oh shit, I need the lighter. I'm just fucking talking about Shin Godzilla. But man, I loved it, man. I fucking loved it. The Godzilla scenes are like, oh, they're so fucking good. That's awesome. And I, I recently rewatched some key scenes from like the American one, and it's like so not. What it, like it's bad. <laughs> the, the, the 2014 yeah, one. Yeah, like I remember um, liking it when I saw it. Like it was kind of boring at parts, but I was like, oh man, the Godzilla, the Godzilla scenes are cool. Yeah, I loved it. But like. It's- it's just- it's so- it seems like fucking trash compared to Shin Godzilla, really? as far as I'm concerned, yeah. Wow. That's just my opinion, but... Um, that's how it felt to me. Like, they really nailed, like, how fucking, like, horrifying Godzilla is. Yes. And, uh... Well, the Godzilla in the 2014 one is basically a good guy. Yeah, no, not this Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> this, this one's back This Godzilla's to... a bad time. <laughs> oh yeah, back to being a... A problem. Buddy, welcome back. Welcome to Swamp Ass, the game. You got, you got ass cheek caterpillars. And is is this scene what goes on betwixt your butt cheeks when you do running for a long time? <laughs> <laughs> I've had an itchy butthole for fucking days. I know dude. you keep telling me about it. Ever that's that's I, what made me ask. I was in I was in Japan and just suddenly I got an itchy <laughs> butthole. You've had an itchy butthole like that has spanned the globe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a matter of fact that I brought this itchy asshole. Fucking ten thousand miles with me. I was thinking, wouldn't it be crazy if oh, like, God. oh, wouldn't it be crazy if you like? Because I was thinking about it in Japan. I was like, man, you know, I keep John. thinking, I keep thinking like the ramen here is better than it is in America. But I, I would love to have it like back to back, you know. Uh -huh. So I was like, man, wouldn't it be crazy if you just like 
hustled in top ramen into Tokyo? No, no, you like oh. ate ramen like right before you left and then flew to Japan. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it. And then you flew to Japan and then you ate ramen when you got there. It would be four, it would be like 12 hours in between, but like... Yeah, I don't think that would exactly be a, like a back-to-back -back sample challenge. I don't know. You can maybe like... If you're still awake for both, you can like remember what it feels like. <laughs> you can remember. You remember the feeling. You never forget your first top. Well, the, no, fuck. You know, it's like mindfulness exercises where it's like, remember all the details. The gritty details, like, remember how the tingle on your mouth feels and... Yeah. Remember how it felt when you opened your first flavor sachet of, uh, fucking powdered chicken. <laughs> I'm not talking about instant ramen. <laughs> which, by the way, is better in Japan. Yeah, it is. Unless you get it imported, because, you know, an imported cheap top ramen. It never, dis it never occurred this to me how disgusting the idea of, 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 a, of, like, a little pouch of chicken powder is. Oh, it's great. Like, we've... We've taken the essence of this living creature and mashed it into a fine powder. And then, you know, you know those those packets say like to reduce sodium, use half packet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to reduce sodium, don't eat. <laughs> yeah. Frozen thing. Yeah, and he just kind of like, eh. yeah. His mouth was way bigger too. Have you ever watched? Oh my god! Have you ever <laughs> watched bats fly around every so often? Yeah, they're just like <laughs> they fucking, and then they just stop and they yeah. hang. And they're really they... cute up close. They're like little mice. I like fruit bats with crazy teeth. I was at a, I was and at a beady red eyes. All the attributes that you think of when you think of adorable. I went to a zoo um, in Wano Park in Japan, and uh, they have like a little fruit bat exhibit area, and like they had like fruit hanging, and they just go like, and then they like land on a fruit, and then they munch on it. And then they go, and they land on another fruit and munch on that. And it's weird how they just like, because for me, it's like, I have a meal in front of me and I'm going to eat that meal and then I'm done. Right. It's, I'm not like, oh, and then I'm going to have your food and then I'm going to have your food and then I'm going to go over here and get something out of the fridge and eat that. That's how I am in front of our snack wall. We have a wall of snacks in the office to keep ourselves hyped. Which is where I got my, um... God damn it, Aaron. My, my Target brand <laughs> natural beauty, whatever the fuck it's called. Aaron, you're embarrassing, you're embarrassing yourself just because you want to talk about your Simply Balanced Fruit Stripe Wild Berry Naturally Flavored Made with Natural Ingredients. <laughs> and how delicious. You can get one at your local Target. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I've probably talked about this on the show before because it really steams me up. Oh, it's good. But you know how Walmart has, like, Super Walmart? Mm-hmm. Target started making new Targets, and they just call them, like, Target something, like Target Super Target or some shit like that. Okay. But they should have called it fucking Bullseye. Oh. Like, with the F word involved? No, they could should, should have called it Target Bullseye or oh, something okay. like that. Um, but they- it's such a missed opportunity. I keep thinking of Mitch Hedberg's like, I went to Target, but I missed. <laughs> like, I think the entrance to Target should just have people splattered all around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a genius that guy was. <laughs> splattered all around. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. Oh, oh man, that's brutal. Mm, I gotta speed through that shit. Yikes. Well, at least I, I cleared the pipe, so... Uh, <laughs> These pipes are clean! <laughs> well, I can just get here if I die. I can right. just continue. Which will be nice. Um, right. he grew up in Wisconsin, I think? And he lived in- <laughs> No! Oh, dang. He lived in New York for a little bit, and, uh, just his anxiety took over too much. And he didn't want to admit that he just wasn't cut out for New York, but... Uh, it didn't work for him. Oh, yeah, man. It's a very specific kind of city. Like I said, and it's not just me fucking posturing, like, I... I totally get why people like it. But I just- I just can't do it, man. That's fine. It's, uh... It's- it's one of those places... I think- I think... If you're an East Coast person, if you grew up on the East Coast, it's hard to ever... let that part of you leave your system, you know? It's- it's- it just- aww. It ingrains your, itself in you. I grew up on the East Coast. House! <laughs> 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 oh, man.
Please continue. <laughs> but, um... Oh, man, enemies would be cool. There's one. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, I would walk around Tokyo, and there would just be people speaking Japanese, and then suddenly some guy would be like, I have a pen, and I'd just be like, oh, shit, I have an apple, and they're like, oh, it's a kid! Oh, pineapple apple pen! <laughs> it, it would, like, fucking bridge gaps, man. It would create new friendships. That's so great. <laughs> it's like we just, we both knew the same thing. That's so great. Were they amused that, like, an American knew oh, it? Oh, yeah, dude. We'd be, it, would, it was everywhere, too. It would be on the train. It would be in fucking... Like Disneyland, oh. I'd be in line at Disneyland, and it'd just be like, you know, just be a cacophony of a language I don't understand. And then suddenly, like, I have a pen, and I'm like, oh, I have an apple. And they're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy. Oh my god, that's really what was missing from um, that Japan trip. Like, I, for anyone who doesn't know, we took a trip to Japan two years ago already. And, yeah, God, it was so long. Ago. Yeah, and um, <coughs> like, I enjoyed it. It was it was fun, but like, I just it was so isolating because I just couldn't communicate with anybody. Oh well, yeah, but, but I you knew alligator goat cheese mask. I did. <laughs> um, That's arigato gozaimasu yeah. for you. Arigato goat cheese mask. But yeah, like, I I, I think. Um, if I could just learn like a Oops. little bit of Japanese, it would make me so happy. Oh. And it would be awesome. Oh, uh, all you need to know is sumimasen. That's all you need to know. Sumimasen? Sumimasen. That's, I'm sorry, right? Yeah. Or excuse me. So I can just continually apologize to people? Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much, actually. Yeah, yeah. This looks like it was doodled on a cocktail napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it goes like that, and then it goes like that. Done. We're done. We're, go home, everybody. <laughs> was that Japanese? What? Yeah. The writing? Yeah. Cool. I like. I was about to be like, "What's that math equation?" <laughs> but it didn't. It then occurred well, to me. Well, handwritten Japanese is weird because um, it's so it's almost like cursive. Like that's mm. why stroke order is important. Because like uh, you know the, when you write this thing, it's like these three things have to be written in the, sa it's in the same order every time. Because mm. sometimes people don't like pick up their pen when they're writing it. So it just kind of like looks like this weird shape, and then you're like, oh, but uh, I know the stroke orders. So oh, he was interesting. Doing that. Um, God, so different. Yeah, handwritten Japanese is Ooh, that's pretty. very difficult for me. To this space, but we still use the octava. So that was like Battle Kid. Right. Where it like sounded kind of distant. Um, right, right, right. And then, uh, and then we got these mics. And then I was. Now, then I can hear the difference between. The old audio board and the new audio board. That's wild. That we were using with these mics. Uh, so I can... So if I listen to an episode, I'm like, Oh, okay, that was in this room, but... With a different board, but these mics. I And there, like, there was the one episode where you talk, you spoke... We were speaking Japanese. That That's a specific thing. You just listen and you're like... <laughs> Thank you, you're welcome. Seriously. Seriously. I thought you were a penis desk. Penis desk? Penis desk. Don't sit at the penis desk. What? No, I didn't say that. Pretty sure that's what you said. Uh, uh I think I know how to speak Japanese, Aaron. Boku no chisai chinchin o azukate kudasai. Azukete kudasai. What does that mean? It means please take care of my tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, take, take care in what sense? Like, like, like hold it behind the desk or like, <laughs> okay, like that. So kind there of thing. was a desk involved. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like you would say it to somebody who, like, if you were buying something uh -huh. and you had like a bunch of shit that you were buying, and then they would say, like, do you want me to like take care of this for you? Like, like as in hold it for you before oh, you go. Oh, I They would say see. they would say, uh, as as I, I want to go back to Japan. Armed with only that one sentence. Boku no chisai chinchin o azukete kudasai? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just have to survive as long as I can. I <laughs> only I saying can. that. Y you should. Please take care of my tiny feet. Excuse me, say it. Boku no chisai chinchin o azukete kudasai. Like, and whoa. The, yeah. <laughs> the girl's like, um. <laughs> All all I remember is trying to say the few words in Japanese that I knew in Japan and uh, 
whoever I was speaking to would immediately try to stifle a laugh. Oh, U yeah. Usually women. Because they were, they would, they would just listen to me, and I, my accent must have been so off, yeah. and what I was saying was so stupid. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Continue. No, Sorry. and and they they would just they would just be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Stupid fucking American piece of shit, piece of garbo. Yeah, make it. I'm, I was like, I'm making an effort. Let yeah. me buy the salmon ball. There's some people that appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So we got Akihabara. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with her. You know. I'm gonna... Akihabara. Yeah. That's a that's a, a an area in Tokyo. Yeah, I thought it sounded familiar. It's yeah. a great sounding name. Uh, I think we went there. When we went one time. Oh, that Japan trip is rad. Let's reminisce while you lock in combat with twelve people at once. Sure. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. You know, we're holding. Yeah, there's a lot of confetti on the ground, so that's got to be. Uh, feel good kind of story. They're without me I after we it. had that conversation about how much <laughs> I wanted to go to the Sizzler. There is. So I was just in Japan, right? You went to a Japanese Sizzler? I didn't, but there was one. Wow, really? Yes, and I really am curious. It's like there's so much good food in Japan that I like. I don't want to like waste a meal. Yes, I understand. On like jokingly going to the Japanese Sizzler. But also, but. <laughs> I'm really curious what a Japanese sizzler is like. Yeah. Because a Japanese Denny's is not anything like our Denny's. Really? Yeah. Like, way classier? Nah. Great. It's just different. It's it's a definitely nicer. A different kind of shitty? Yeah. I, I don't much care for it. But it's like... It's not even American food. I feel like it's like European food almost. What just happened to me? You just turned into Ice Boy. Why am I this? Because you jumped at the hat. Oh, it's the hat. This is our first uh, day back after a little vacation, a little vacay. Right. Uh, and how was your vacation, Aaron? You went to Japan. <sighs> I did. Yeah. How was that? Um, it was good. You know, I got to see. Uh... Whoa! Sorry, just the first time. Experiencing these seaweed monsters. Yeah, they're pretty silly, right? <laughs> kind of caught me off guard. Um, it was good. I got to see a childhood friend, which probably sounds weird, but yeah, he lives in Japan and works yeah, in Japan. Yeah, and he's a child. He was born in... my childhood. <laughs> 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 he is six. <laughs> the only reason I was able to get into Monster... I've always wanted to get into Monster Hunter ever since I, I heard it was, like, the most popular game in Japan. They love it in Japan. It was, I mean, our, our trip... Can you believe our trip to Japan was three years ago? Wow. That's shocking. Yeah. But, well, almost. It'll be three years in May. But, like, still, it, it, Hello, um... Mr. Frog. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh! Are you dead? No, I'm just paralyzed. Just knocked out. Oh! Me say! Uh, uh, um, and e on, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, me say, oh, me say, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. It's so brutal. Hence the name, brutal Mario. Mm. It's Kaizo, but it's it translates to brutal. Mario. Oh, does it really? <laughs> I don't fucking. Know. Oh, jeez, man, fucking, don't say shit like that. <laughs> You're like my authority on Japanese. <laughs> well, the Kaizo Mario, the American translation of it is called Brutal Mario. Oh, okay. So that's where it came from. I don't know if that's the actual translation of what Kaizo means. Mmm. But it probably just means challenge or something. Yeah. Dude, I was watching this documentary about Japan. Mm -hmm. Was it filled with information? It really was. <laughs> Let's change the subject now. Oh, <laughs> What the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, the one thing that was really cool that I learned about Japan mm -hmm. is that when, like, like, samurai whatevers would fight each other from, like, different countries. Mm -hmm. Like, shoguns or, I don't know. Like, samurai whatevers, gotcha. Fucking, what, what oh the hell? Oh my god, Aaron. Samurai generals and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They would fight each other from, they would fight people from other countries, and they would, like, literally, like, say their country and, like, who they are and their, like, family lineage, like, before they would fight. Really? Yeah, so, like, they would- it was, like, fucking anime, like, straight- like, yeah, that's like, what influenced anime for people to be, like, FOR WINTERFELL! Yeah, like, yeah. shit like that. They would- they would fucking show up, and they would face each other, and then they'd just be like, 
I am Yamazaki from the oh, yeah. the, the Juhaku clan. Konnichiwa. Hajime mashite. Dozo yoroshiku. Onegai shimasu. Ten minute power hour ni yokozo. Watashi wa Erin desu. Do you want me to speak Japanese? Eagle Club. D <laughs> uh, Dan Avedon. Suimasen. Suimasen. Dan, do you want to know what we're doing today? <laughs> uh, how to say I speak Hebrew. But I do remember Hebrew. The word for Hebrew is Ivrit. And uh, so I, I just said, like, I speak Ivrit. <laughs> you know that. And uh, they were like, oh, oh, um. <laughs> Ooh, uh -oh. Like when those Japanese kids called us gaijin. Oh yeah, that was funny. Yeah. We were like, dude, that's the one word we know. <laughs> yeah. Well, they probably wanted us to know that we were talking about them, you know? Yeah. That they were talking about like, us. Look at these dirty foreigners. Fucking dirty ass foreigners. I mean, we were. Yeah, we were course. unshowered. We yeah, were we, rude. We were not rude. We were so rude, don't, dude. Don't even put that out there. Don't even joke yourself. <laughs> Don't even fib yourself. All right, we'll get back to this. We were always rootling each other. Okay. Well, <laughs> next time on Game Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps. Yeah, it's time. But the you mentioned something about the the cultural Japanese ability to tune things out when there's pandemonium in terms of stimuli being thrown at you, in terms of like loudness and flashing things and stuff like that. Uh, I don't... I don't remember talking about that. Oh, it was in the Gauchapon... ...parlor. Um... I mean, I, I, it's not... It's not really, like... ...any kind of physical difference, it's just because Tokyo... Yeah. ...is so loud and insane. I imagine that's the case just because... I mean, just go there once and you're like, Fuck, how do people deal with this? Yeah. Day? Yeah. But they do. It's remarkable. The 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 amount the amount of stimuli and like colors. It's so gaudy there. Yeah. And I I love it. Gaudy. Sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if you like walk around Kabuki Cho at night, you're just like fuck. The last no. episode that we filmed was uh, Kuchikaze Onna. So much fun. Which um Dan proclaimed I hate I hate Japanese. I, I yeah, I you know what? I was I was very emotional and <laughs> I don't of course I don't mean that. Well, he means specifically Japanese horror. Yes. Because Japanese horror is a lot I feel like it's a lot creepier. Yes. Um and This I, looks relaxing. This looks I, fun. <laughs> and then I booted this up and he was like, uh oh. Oh good. Nippon Ichi Software Incorporated. <laughs> what could go wrong? That's how you do this. Oh my god, this is adorable. And then bond the one to the left. Okay. Do it. Hold on. Forget I'll... these fucks. No, I. It's. It's too risky. No, you're risky. Uh. You're a risky gamble by Megumi Hayashibara. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop talking for a minute. <laughs> what, what did you just reference? It's a song by oh. Megumi Hayashibara. Is that part of Risky your... Gamble? Uh. Part of your, uh, uh, 80s return to Japanese <clears throat> pop? Uh, I don't know, kinda. It's- it's a theme song from an uh, anime. I think it's Slayers. Slayer? Yeah. I like their song, Angel of Death. <laughs> Not Slayer. Surprised S to see them show up in the anime world, frankly. <laughs> Fuck that up. Whee! <laughs> What's happening? Jeez. Oh, come on. Just so you know, yes. this is exactly how Japan is. Yeah, I've been there. Like, 100%. You think I don't know this is ex this is shot for shot remake of my trip to Japan? <laughs> <laughs> I was the lobster. I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. A Japanese question. Mm hmm The Japanese letters? Yeah. Is that fourth one from the left a real letter, or is it just a smiley face? <laughs> like, hmm. It's actually not a letter, Dan. Well, it is when it's bigger. Okay. But in that form, mm -hmm. it is an elongator. It's an elongator of the consonant sound that is after it. Oh, interesting. So, 
the proper pronunciation as is described in the Japanese text that you see before you uh-huh. is is piku niku. Piku niku. Yeah. Ooh. You give it a little you give a little pause on the consonant because piku of niku. that smiley face. Wow. If that smiley face was not there, it would be piku niku. I learned something. But because that smiley face is there, it's piku niku. I've forgotten it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just get some, just get some range, dude. Bam! There we go. There it is. Now we got it. Nice. That's it. Off we go. Pikuniku. Hell yeah, dude. You know what pikuniku means? What does it mean? Picnic. Oh, does it? Yeah. That's extra cute now. <laughs> pikuniku. Pikunik. Thank you. Pikuniku. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pikuniku. Hello there. Hi everybody, welcome to Game Grumps. Aaron, what game is this? It's called Yume Niki. Well, she eats with chopsticks and a spoon, so she is very multicultural. What the hell? They have spoons in Japan, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to make conversation. And her fucking clock has no hands, so that's weird. She uses chopsticks and a spoon. How else are they supposed to eat soup, Dan? Very quickly with chopsticks. Soup's a huge... <laughs> 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 All right, let's do it. I have no idea what this game is. Me neither. Okay. Here we go.